Alright guys, here's my Blade 350QX, and I've got a review going up soon, it's probably going to be up after this video. As you can see, I crashed and I cracked my Blade 350QX, but I just epoxied it up, it's fine. I also broke the landing gear, but I just put some Gorilla Tape and epoxy underneath there, and it's, I've flown it since, and it's sturdy, I fly it in my first review. But I had some problems, and it was basically just my fault, I didn't have it set up right, I tried to set up my DX8. This is a pretty popular radio, so I'm going to show you guys what you need to do when you get this... Uh, 350QX bind and fly home, what settings you have to do. So let's go through and I'm going to show you. First thing is in your uh, model type that's going to be acro or airplane so make sure that's on airplane. You're also going to go down to your switch select and in here this is how you're going to set it up. Everything is going to be inhibit inhibited except for F mode to gear and flap to aux 1. So go ahead and pause on the screen if you want and get your DX8 to the screen and you'll be able to set these up. Where these are, just to show you so you guys know, you hold down your scroll button on the right side here, <coughs> turn on your uh, transmitter, and the model type was the uh, airplane or helicopter. Keep scrolling down and the switch select is where we had this screen. So that's in the main menus here. Once you do that, go ahead and go back to the main screen. And in here, there's a couple things to do. Go to Servo Setup and go to uh, Reverse. And then go to Aux 1 <coughs> and Reverse Aux 1. It's the only one you have to reverse. And uh, that then get out of there. Also, go down to Throttle Cut. Set that to negative 10 and to trainer. So now what's going to happen is when you hit this, when you're on the ground, your blades will stop spinning. When you hit, oh, I'm sorry, you can't see, I'm zoomed in. When you hit your uh, trainer button up here, your blades will stop spinning. And when you hit uh, this flap switch down to the bottom, your helicopter will automatically land. That's the auto land or go home function. Put it back up and it'll stop, or you know it'll be in normal mode. And the trainer is what stops your blades. Um, I feel like there was one other thing that I had to do, get that back to 10, throttle curve, flap system, mixing timer, I think that's all we have to do, the servo setup of that, and then if you want you can set some, uh, you know, expo, I usually don't use any expo on this one, when I flew it I didn't need any, but if you want, set, you know, like 40% expo for yourself, and uh, other than that, there's nothing else you have to do, pretty straight forward, simple, easy setup, I just did something wrong last time, and uh, that's why my first review, I crashed it. But um, I got it flying again, so look for a new review. I'm going to do more videos of this tomorrow. Not like a full review again, but I'll do more v uh, flight videos and uh, information about this helicopter tomorrow probably. So stay tuned. If you have any questions about the DX8 setup, let me know. See you guys later. Happy flying.